Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Um, I broke the screen on my computer so you can see me, but I cannot see you. I can see the little blue light. But if you see me you know, looking around outside and around the room, that's my ADHD because there's nothing to focus on there. However, that's better for your reading because that means I'm in my head and less into what I look like, which I have no idea at the moment. So I hope it's not horrible. Don't look at my gray roots. I have so Look at how much my hair grew in one month. I got to get my hair done. Starting to look my age, guys. All right, so we are on Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Remember, if you're watching for another person or another situation, that Spirit knows who's watching and it might play out from your perspective. For those of you who have been praying for my brother in law, Greg, um, good news is that he, you know, he went through the surgery, he made it. He is still in, a, I think, an induced coma. I'm not sure. Nobody really told me, but that's the feeling I get. Um, they did repair the major aneurysm. He has two smaller ones that they said are not repairable. Um, but they will, um, how did they put it? They will get smaller, I guess, uh, over time. And, you know, if he makes it through this, which he is still in critical condition, He's going to have to do a lot of therapies and stuff to to hopefully regain um, everything that, that he lost. Okay, so please keep him in prayer. Um, what else do I want to tell you? I'm only doing four private readings a day um, because my son, who is 10, poor kid, has been so bored while I do these 12 videos because I make him play outside or go to his room. And he just, it's driving him nuts because he doesn't have mom's full undivided attention. So four readings a day is all I'm doing. If you would like to book your personal private reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Um, yeah, tomorrow I've already got two scheduled. So if you want to get in, you need to do so quickly. I have one more for tonight if somebody wants a late reading. Um, I'm in Eastern time zone, and I will do a, one reading after Jesse goes to bed. So that's like 9, 30, 10 o'clock my time. If that's not too late for you and you would like to get a personal private reading, make sure you email me as soon as you watch this, okay? All right, anything else I need to tell you? I believe that's all except for go look at the guided channeled message that I put up called Community Garden. Um, this full moon in... Taurus energy, you know, Taurus is the earth sign. It's uh, my Tor Taurians, is that how you say it? Really love opulence. They love their 3D stuff. They love to to have fine wine and, and, and luxury items. They like to pamper themselves. And some of them are really awesome um, gardeners, right? So what can you be doing at this time in order to to find your new mission, right? Because a lot of you have, your your jobs may not ever come back the way they were. I'm not saying that they're not coming back, but they may not come back the way they were. And you may be being called by spirit to learn something to, new in order to contribute to the whole, okay? We need holistic healers, guys. There's a clarion call, clarion call going out right now for healers. If you believe that you are a healing or a healer by nature, try to learn some energy work, okay? Maybe you're already a nurse. Maybe you're a doctor. Maybe you're a physician's assistant. Maybe you work with the elderly. Whatever your calling is, um, Spirit is calling for you to try to learn some energy work, you know, how to clear your energy, how to balance and heal your chakras, how to maybe you could become a... Um, a Reiki healer, or a quantum healing touch, or, you know, whatever you feel personally drawn to, because that's what this whole new moon is about, is creating new things that we can use in the new world we're creating moving forward. And it's everybody coming together and shining the light so bright that the darkness has to run, right? All right, I'm going to do this one last shuffle for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. For those of you who watched the Virgo um, video, I, of course, called you Leos, I think. I don't know, but 
I apologize. Just remember the energy and the message is always going to be what the energy and the message is. It doesn't change no matter what comes out of my mouth. Spirit knows what we're doing. All right, so I'm using the John Holland deck to do your past, present, future energies. Um, it's the timeline you're on, the vibration you're in at the moment, and the potential outcome. And then the next deck is the Radley Valentine uh, Fairy Oracle Tarot. We're going to take a look at what Spirit says could be your timeline could be your vibration if you choose to um, raise it or, or change a way of being or thinking. Um, and also for some of the readings, I've seen that instead of changing your vibration, a lot of you might be in good vibration. There's just certain things that you can be accomplishing. So spirit gives you advice with that deck. So we've got bottom of the deck is always my highest and best message. So for my Capricorns, you might be in a third party situation or there could be some real heartbreak and loss that you are trying to transmute and heal from at this time. You might be experiencing some some purging, some, you know, release. I've had a lot of people uh, request private readings that have been talking to me about how they're purging. They're looking at old, you know, life partners, twin flames, um, job situations, ways of being and that need healed, you know, whether it's family, friends, there's a lot of cutting cords, a lot of purging a lot of stuff going on so you guys oh look how beautiful i do dig a little under the deck too so what i see here is death and transformation maybe in a soulmate um situation for some of you with the six of cups you might be longing for somebody or missing somebody from your childhood or this could simply be um a soulmate from a past life but there's been a death, there's been a transformation, and it might have involved a third-party situation. Just saying. Okay, so now let's just put some energy here from this. Look at I cut the deck. You've got the lovers on the bottom and the five of cups. Yeah, some of you guys are trying to heal from something that really broke your heart, stabbed you right through the heart. When I see the three of swords, it usually to me means there's one energy more than there needs to be. And it doesn't have to be a person, it could be a situation, it could be a job, it could be distance, you know, whatever it is, There's, it's like a wedge between you and whatever it is, is on your heart and mind. This energy has been intense, guys, like my mouth goes, buh, 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 buh. past energy, oh, I like it, that is beautiful, current energy, and potential outcome yeah wow oh my god bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles he's been showing up him and the king of swords have been showing up in a lot of these readings king of wands too all right so for my earthly capricorns you're showing up in your own reading or you could be dealing with another capricorn um taurus or virgo so if I'm digging three underneath each one, and there, no, I got to go four because there's that three of swords again. I'm so sorry, guys. And seven of swords under that. Some of you guys are dealing with a situation, a boss, a friend, um, a relationship, a boyfriend, girlfriend, twin flame, whatever. There's some kind of a relationship here. This is relationship oriented, okay? When you see the six of cups and the three of swords and the three of swords and the eight of swords and the temperance i really like that and king of autumn so let's just feel into your energies here so your past energy is this hierophant this and in spirit paired it okay with the hanged man this is awesome this tells me you guys are awakening you're you're look at and i love the yin and yang that's for my twins if any twins are watching that are capricorns there's your confirmation that you might get a twin message in this also okay so in the past whether this is in your business however this shows up in your life there is something you are deeply deeply learning and and it's changing you on a cellular level. I mean, with the hierophant and, and the hanged man together. 
says change the way you're looking at this situation embrace your un your uniqueness a temporary pause in action i believe that you've been along with the entire planet practically you've been put in an official timeout and in this timeout you're going to have to look at things differently you might have to look at a person differently for some of you i really feel this is surrounding a a relationship of some sort and this is going through a transformation and a healing but in order for you to really forgive this person or this situation you're going to have to try to walk a mile in their shoes you're going to have to try to see things from all perspectives not just your own because a lot of times we fall into victim mentality and being a victim doesn't teach you anything except for how to be more of a victim so how can you transmute that energy? How can you gain wisdom from it? By looking at things from all different aspects. That's how you're going to gain clarity. All right, and what energy are you in now? This is beautiful too. Look at you've got the six of pentacles. This is material and spiritual prosperity. I feel like you're being balanced. Like whatever you went through in the past. It's funny because... I do tw all 12 zodiacs and some people are not even close to where you are at this time. And others are, are a little ahead. But you guys have already done a lot of your healing. You've already done, I just want to say, a lot of you have really dug deep. You've looked at things from all angles. You're learning new things. You're clearing and purging old Belief systems, I'm hearing belief systems, especially around relationships, right? And so this balance is happening. And I'm hearing the reason it's happening is because you're, you've learned healthy boundaries. You've learned that what you put out is what you expect back, right? You're not going to take less than equal reciprocity. Right now, you are being balanced out in your own energetic field. And you're not going to accept anything less than what you know you truly deserve and i don't think in the past you thought you were worth a whole hell of a lot but now you're seeing things much differently you have three aces three aces okay with the three of swords so there are three aspects that you could have a new beginning in through what you've learned and through what you're moving forward with because you've got the six of pentacles and spirit gave you the ace of pentacles so you know um, where you're at currently is you're learning things, you're purging things, you're putting up healthy boundaries, you're you're open to receiving on a more balanced and, and equal equality, right? And your potential outcome is the ace of wands, guys. This is passion ignited. I really do feel for some of you, this is, you know, a person. For others of you, it could be a job. I mean, because we've got the King of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like for some of you, it's both. It's like um, your divine counterpart is also going to help put you, whether it's through triggering you, through through causing heartbreak for you. Um, that might be their contract with you is to awaken you and to, you know, if you're afraid of abandonment they'll abandon you if you're afraid of commitment they won't commit to you if you're afraid of being ghosted they'll ghost you if you're afraid of you know whatever your fears are they might mirror those to you and that breaks your heart but it also gives you this awesome ability to see things differently to learn your own value to heal yourself and to put up healthy boundaries and know that whatever you put out into the world is exactly what's coming back to you karmically and so you know You've got this ace. I get, I'm getting excited because your energy is really rocking me at the moment, okay? So with the ace of wands moving forward, this is inspired action. This is, you know, I've learned something and now I'm going to take what I've learned and I'm going to apply it in the way I show up in this world. And it, it, it truly is going to free my heart up. No longer am I going to feel like this. I'm going to open my heart chakra. I'm going to heal it. I'm going to become enlightened. I'm going to show up in this world differently than I showed up before. I'm sorry guys i'm channeling really fast for you but it's coming in really fast so that's where you're at which is a beautiful place and spirit saying can we enhance that for you can we help you in that can we move that just a little 
to the left or right for you in order to align you with this beautiful six of pentacles all right so while you're in um hierophant mode you should also be this is spirit's advice right it's it's the bottom row so spirit saying whatever you're learning whatever you're becoming wise about whatever you're you're learning you're going to have to teach someday that's what the hierophant is it is the teacher teacher who was the student who is the student that was the teacher vice versa it's both it's like being everything wrapped up in one you're going to learn it by experiencing it and then you're going to teach it to others by um experiencing it okay and it wasn't pleasant and but it was a soul contract to change and transform you and to build a, a firmer foundation and to give you spiritual strength right and balance i got the balance card under that i could dig through this whole thing i think it's going to talk to you because i'm really talking fast which means there's a big message for you so you're awakening this is the ascension journey for you and i feel like you might have been activated by a twin flame or a divine soulmate or at least a soulmate that has a contract a karmic contract with you and so spirit says now you've got the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles the ace of wands and the ace of swords so a windfall just let me read the cards to you chain i already read that one a windfall of money advice or assistance from others a very successful project a happy happy change in your career so if this is career oriented you're going to know right because if you got a sacred soulmate you would know that and you do know that some of you definitely know that it's why you're here and i can hear it all right so ace of autumn you're waiting on that big offer no more bullshit right it's like i want equal rest reciprocity i want equal give and take no more chasing i'm going to attract no more just sitting and ghosting i'm going to you know reciprocate whatever end of the spectrum you're on but you're waiting for the big one okay you're waiting for the big one and look at all the books it's like you've got the hierophant you've got the hanged man look at all the books down here and the coins this baby's playing with this little baby fairy it's like everything that you're learning right now is gold okay you might be able to take those lessons and and bite into them and bury them in the backyard they're going to be practical lessons that you apply in your life and it's going to bring you abundance it's going to bring you true love and clarity whatever you've been seeking clarity on it's coming don't be deterred by challenges along your way it's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented absolutely that's what you've been learning is how to implement all of that with the eight of swords you know you've, you're feeling not you not you i feel like it's somebody else it's somebody in your energy is feeling stuck maybe you're waiting for somebody to be equal in their their expression to you but they feel stuck it's you know spirit saying you have what it takes if only you believe in yourself thinking that you're powerless when you're not a lack of self-confidence it keeps you from getting what you want that's being balanced out here guys it's being balanced out and so i i don't think this is your energy i really don't i think this is somebody else i think you're the king i think you're bossing up i think you've been shown things the the blinders have been removed you know the year of 2020 2020 vision so this has been a beautiful message guys if this is a twin flame energy three aces three of swords in 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 your energy has been a catalyst it's been a blessing it might have hurt like hell but it's been a blessing and this person is a soulmate that has helped you to come this far okay you did the work all they did was light the match right they they lit you up that's it you did the work spirit saying you're awakening you're doing the work you're going to get the benefit of doing the work they will probably do the work too because most soul contracts are a gift to both parties right so in your awakening you will also trigger their awakening and there's balance happening especially over the past or a third party situation all right sorry guys you guys are really like your energy's thick all right capricorns i want to give you a message for the um light worker star seeds um whatever you feel is your divine calling if you feel like you are a light worker this is your message Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the light workers and the way showers. 
the mission workers, ground crew. I'm hearing ground crew because you guys are the earth sign, right? Earth sign of Capricorn. What is their mission? What should they be doing? There we go. All right. Bottom of the deck, the age of light. That's what you are. You're heralding it in. You're heralding in the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes, lifetimes. See, not everybody got the activation, right? I mean, I shouldn't say that. Everybody got activated, but not the activation, the activation, the ascension, the I wasn't anything like I am now. It's like complete and utter transformation, complete and utter transformation, thanks to a soulmate that broke your heart, right? Showed you that the foundations you built may not have been strong and sturdy, but you've been training for this for lifetimes. This is the age of Aquarius, the age of light 2020. I'm so sorry to be nagging you. Your spirit guides are coming in really strong. So trust your path. If you knew you would be supported and you are, what would you do? What is your what is your heart's desire? If you had to get up and work every day, shouldn't you be working at something that brings you joy, peace, love, happiness, inspiration, passion, passion ignited, right? New fi finances, new money. You might be a speaker. You might be a teacher with this wisdom card, right? And then this ace of swords, that's communication. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? And then dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Because like the past is the past. And that's what you're transmuting and changing. So how can you raise your vibration to get out of that feeling? Because you've got that twice. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Are you sitting at home? You know, if you're in karmic relationships, and I, I'm hearing some of you are, You were meant for greater things. And it was a lesson to teach you so that you could be like groomed for that greater cause. And so what are you saying yes to that you need to be saying no to at this time? What things need to go so that you can free up your energy for something new? Because you got new all over your reading. Three aces. Three aces. And the ace of cups, I feel, is hovering somewhere. I'm sure if I dug a couple more cup or cards deeper I'd probably find it but it's not here yet it's coming it's coming I feel it okay so don't dim to fit in stop pretend take the mask off be authentic stop pretending you're something you're not and if this isn't your message you know maybe you could flip-flop it for the person that you're thinking about but the the star seed is definitely for you if you resonate with that energy and you'll know if you do trust me because I know <laughs> I was awake and loud and clear. I didn't I didn't get just the 1111 11 wake up call. I got a 2 by 4 upside my head. All right, Capricorn, I'd like you to think of a yes or no question. And this deck deck this deck has two yeses, two noes, and then it has lots of variables in between. But ask a yes or no question, and we will try to get you a clear answer. And if spirit doesn't want to give a clear-cut yes or no, they will definitely give you advice at this time. Okay? All right. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is the answer to the question on their heart and mind at this time? What is the answer to the question on their heart and mind at this time? Oh, I feel like I need one more. One more spirit, one more. All right. Bottom of the deck, perfect timing. I'm telling you, I'm revved up on your energy. It's so beautiful. I want to be a Capricorn today. I really, oh, by the way, my brother in law is Capricorn, so pray for him, okay? Because he needs this energy. And maybe, just maybe, this um, can turn out somehow, some way, in a beneficial manner for him. So we have, oh, so excited. So yes or no? Yes. Not just yes, guys. Yes with an exclamation point. I told you there's two yeses, two noes. One is just yes. The other one is yes. Yes. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Opportunity. Opportunity. Ding dong. Ding dong. Yeah. The alarm's going off, guys. Opportunity. And it's, look at, she's tossing money up in the air. Look at, Ace of Pentacles. 
So for some of you, finances are really going to free up, and it, especially if you step into your role. If you quit dimming your light, if you dance with life, if you trust your path, you will herald in the age of light. And I really, truly believe that this particular reading is, you know, heavily, heavily activated in, in, in coercion with a soulmate romance, possibly twin flame. I don't want to toss that title on everybody because not everybody resonates with that, but definite soulmate activation here for the ascension journey. And so if you feel like you hate them, don't hate them because I'm telling you, they're giving you the biggest gift you've ever had in your life. And when you come out the other side of this, you're going to be completely changed and blessed. And yes, you're going to be grateful for everything that this person has put you through. Just saying. All right. So I am doing Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit. Can we give... Now we're going on to the... Um, romance because you got romance right here and a big fat yes on the table with three aces just saying <laughs> all right capricorns what do they need to know in love and romance at this time for the next moon cycle spirit what is happening in love and romance for them i think the cards i needed i passed too quickly so let's try again for my capricorns advice and love and romance for my capricorns please spirit Advice and love and romance. Thank you. Romantic feelings. You are your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if you've been thinking in your head, you know, is this real? Is it real? Because you got that big fat yes, right? I'm telling you, this is like really heavy twin flame energy on this board. So if you resonate with that, just take that shit home in your pocket because that's what it feels like. And for those of you that don't resonate with it, it's okay. It's an energy, right? So religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. And so, you know, your spiritual path, this is the Christed one, guys. Look at that big uh, golden crown. This is the Christed ones. Christ is not a person, it's an energy, right? Jesus was Christed. That means that he had Christ consciousness, which means he had unity consciousness, and he was a great, great spiritual guide and teacher. And people misunderstood him, and they treated him poorly. And I'm just really, really channeling for you guys. All right, so you deserve love. You are lovable, but love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Romantic feelings. Yes, see, the thing is, if you want the Six of Pentacles, this equal reciprocity, if you're tired of somebody that texts you once in a while or, you know, you're not even sure, there are days when you think they're madly in love with you and then days when you think they've forgotten you even exist and couldn't give two shits, it's part of the journey, right? It's teaching you. You have to love yourself first. You have to be aware that you are lovable. You have to know that deep down inside of yourself because if you don't love yourself if you can't be like this in your own energy you will always show up like this when you're in other energies so you have to love yourself first you have to have healthy boundaries you have to accept nothing less than what you know you deserve because what do you deserve you deserve love you deserve the truest deepest most guided and directed love ever and it's on its way right but there are some old ways of being that you're going old belief systems that have to be healed and torn down and some of you guys have done it i'm hearing some of you are so close to union the last little like adjustments you need to to do is you need to be authentic you need to raise your vibration and dance with life don't dim your light to fit in trust your path and know that the age of light is on its way Sorry, guys, but you, your energy, I, I'm just happy. I feel happy. I hope you guys are feeling happy because this is not happy. All right. But spirit is showing me such a beautiful outcome for you. If you just purge that those old ways of believing when you get on board with what your soul truly desires and knows that it's worthy of and capable of, of man, beautiful energy is coming for you. All right complete life transformation complete change 
All right, last message for my Capricorns. Last message for my Capricorns, please. Last message for my Capricorns. All right. Where'd that? What is that? Computer. My computer came, guys. I'll be able to see you next time. Oh, I think I got a little sunburnt sitting out there yesterday. All right, blessed. Bottom of the deck is blessed. Look at the prawn. That's that's clearing old cycles, guys. This whole deck is about this. I love it. It's like healing old past karmic cycles. Then we have a leg up. A leg up community. This is your soul tribe. You need to get, you, you know, you need to cut away anybody and anything that does not serve you. And you need to get with like-minded people is what I'm hearing. Okay? And with the hanged man and this thinker card, this tells me that you're really, really overthinking. It's a number 44, which is a master number. And it's all about foundations and stability. So this is what you're working on. And... A leg up means ask your angels, your guides, your ancestors to help you at this time and get with your tribe. Your soul tribe will help you. And it's because a lot of you are light workers and you've been practicing for lifetimes for this. You know, you've been training for this for lifetimes. If you knew you were divinely supported, what would you create right now? Because you've got the ace of swords, the ace of wands, and the ace of pentacles. Create stability. Create foundations. Create create is the ace of wands. Just create, right? And the ace of swords is you might be a teacher. You might learn things that completely open your eyes and transform you and change you. And it is a blessing. And when this blessed card shows up, this is a 22. You got 22, 44. And then a 7 and an 8. Wow. We just had the 444 portal too, guys. This is a 4. This is two fours. 444. Four, four. So, you know, if you are a twin flame, this is definitely your activation. And it's putting you on mission. And it's going to start bringing other light workers, other twinsies into your uh, your community and you're going to get a leg up you already have i hear you already have all right so i love you guys this has been your message i'm excited to look at my new computer so i'm gonna go now i love you if you want a reading you better reach out quick because they're filling up fast and i'm grateful um i know there's people out there that do 10 readings a day but i'm not one of them i do four so if you want a reading you got to get in why the getting in is good okay namaste